Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Fun Deck and today we are featuring Control Shaman so I made this because there is a lot of midrange in the current meta and playing with Control Shaman surprise actually the enemy the enemy will play most of the game thinking you are midrange shaman until you start healing really well and surprise him okay let's start you have your standard spirit claw which is a lot of value for controlling the field really early and ancestral knowledge to draw two card you may replace some of these with the monotite totem blood mage thalnos but your board present is really weak so monotite totem will most likely give you only one card so you need to know, to remember that Doomsayer and Doomsayer is really good with just a car late game because you can spawn that ton totem and put that Doomsayer behind it or you can just early Doomsayer which is hard to deal with Lava Shock for all the overlord you have and Maelstorm Portal Elemental Destruction and Lightning Storm which is for board clear you have one elemental destruction and you, you most of the time you need to use it with the lava shock in order to not get that five overload and healing wave as you noticed that most of our low cost cards are all spilled except doomsayer and blood mage thalnos so you have really high chance to win the joust in healing wave two hex pure value for hard removal and bonds you have card you want to get with bonds are blood mage thalnos which is a spill damage and draw card azir which is the effect will also work so if you play bonds and then uh, one of the A aoe you will get to the full health again and thunder bluff variant which will allow you to use your hero power to buff the other totems thing from below is okay when one taunt and as a drake which is spill damage which means that your spirit claw will be activated if you get as a drake or blood mage thalnos you have refresh and bender for mid game heal and um, Azil, the Ascendants, and Harrison Jones, because a lot of removal in the meta, Thunder Bluff Valiant, just the card through heart. Now the Mist Color, I'm not really sure about this card, because I used to play two as a Drake in the deck, but it's fun. And think from below, Ragnaros the Fire Lord. So the Mist Color you may replace it with the uh, Azudrek, which I think it's more consistent, but I use it because I think it's okay to play with it. And let's start with our, to our first game. Okay, let's start with against Paladin. So what should I keep? Hmm. I will keep the Doomsayer and Lightning Storm because uh, if he's an aggro deck, uh, Doomsayer allow me to buy some time. Since this is a control deck, I need to buy some time for the late game. Now, Barnes is really interesting in this deck, and there is a lot of of fun thing that can happen using it. Oh, he answered. Man, I had lethal. I can taste the mana. But I missed. Okay, this is scary. So, 
he oh he used the coin i think i will uh, wait in the doomsayer and use my hero power maybe because he used the coin and yeah this control shaman is really cool shaman shaman Okay. The reason I did this because um, I want to use my hero power when I draw the thing from below. So and there is nothing that strong yet. Okay, now we can use our doomsayer, but we will give him another card also. I feel like this is really aggro deck, like. Um, using blessing of wisdom and manatide totem. Hmm. Let's hope he do not have an answer for it. Weapon. Okay, this is not enough six damage only. But he uh, uses his turn efficiently, so pop for him. Let's see what we will get from our barns. Attacking face with the open. This is interesting. So we get a 1-1 one -one taunt. Not bad. Maybe he will have to use his weapon charge on the taunt. Let me By the way, I am sorry on my voice because uh, I am a little sick. So if it sounds weird, I am sorry about that. Where is the ball? Nothing scares me. Okay, that's it. Except moths. Reporting for duty. Mm, I think I will kill the 3-3 three, three and let the 1-1 one, one get the divine shield. Because uh, it's scary if he got the divine shield on something stronger. Maybe we will keep the hex for um, Tyrion. Steel, okay, let's lighting storm maybe. Hmm. Or thunder. Okay, I. I really want a guaranteed kill. I know that the lava shock was like an overuse and I have a 50% chance to get it. And one more thing that I use it because um, divine spirit, I am afraid of divine spirit. Maybe I will kill the 3-3 with the lava shock. Yeah, that paladin spell that uh, allow him to draw card equal to my hand. So I don't want to have a lot of cards in my hand. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. This is a really nice one to get. One one and draw a card. Okay. What should I do? Draw first and see. Hmm. Maybe a thing from below with a hero power. Hmm. I'll kill the one one. I do not want him to draw, so I will keep that one one with the draw effect and let him draw. Let him trade by himself. Okay, that's really good for him. What 
This is that another buff. Another blessing of the king. And he have two minion with. Uh, maybe we'll get a spell totem. If we do not, we can use the mail store. And we got spell totem. That's lucky for us. Okay, and we clear the board. The worst case scenario, we can use the also the mail storm portal. Time for the vendor and weapon. Okay, okay, this is a misplay. I should have attacked first and then use the refreshment vendor in order to get that one extra health. And I use I remove the divine shield because I saw he has a few buff and that weapon that buff the divine shield, so I was scared of that. Okay, uh, Ragnaros and the Millstorm portal feel like a good fit and if I kill the... I, I will get free 8 damage to the face. If we have a Tyrion or anything, we are ready for it. And if we have, if we have equality and we still have some threat on our deck and hand. Okay, we win. Last, last. Against last lost, you lose this game, bro. Let's go and start another game. Okay, who we are against? Against a warrior this time. Like one of the best thing about control shaman, everybody expect you to be a mid range, so they overthrow their answer against you. I am keeping this because there is a lot of uh, this pirate uh, aggro deck, which use uh, that uh, frothing berserker. So I c I kept the maelstrom portal and the hex, the hex for frothing berserker. And the mail store portal for the early pirates, which he can use and then buff his weapon with the, that another pirate, which is cost three mana, three four. Okay, let's end. Adun's here is also good, assuming that he is an aggro. If he's not, it's okay. The board clear is never bad, especially when it is this cheap. Come on, man. It's turn one. How much thinking you have to do? Okay. It look like we are right. Here is his first. Pirate, let's use our hero power. Uh, this is the best output we get because it can trade to the, his uh, two one. Maybe he will use a fury or axe in order to deal with it to keep his two one in the field, which will also be really good for us. Okay, okay. Good thing we keep this uh, this board clear. I'll storm portal. And three for one. This is good. And another one mana minion. Now I want to use the refreshment bender, but. Like I feel if I should use the Doomsayer with a hero power because uh, this two one need a lot of resource to deal with it. The divine shield I need to kill it two time. So I think this is the best and nothing really fit his turn four. He can use the hero power 
Maybe equip a weapon that the best case. Okay, he have a weapon. Uh, I'll help. And w now we can like take back control of the field. I think we should draw with as a Drake because uh, we need answers. And still really early to use the refreshment bender. And if I can use the mist color this turn, I will get a lot of value. Because it's still turn 6 and he is starting to fail back. Will he fufu? Why he fufu? Okay, frothing berserker. I'm going to stick with the uh, oh, Justica. Yeah, I really feel that the Miss Color is the best choice now. Because with two refreshment bender, we can like 4 6 with 4 mana and heal 4. And next turn, we can just like refreshment vendor and hex or lightning storm. And the turn after that, we can bars and refreshment vendor or uh, just the car and hero power, which is all seems too good for me. I know I am getting low. But we have an 8 heal. Oh, nice doom sir. 1 8. And he have only 3 dam 2 damage on the field and 3 from the weapon. We still have um, 2 other heal in our deck. Okay, this frothing berserker is really bad. I need to kill it. He's out of cards. Okay, and lucky for us, we got the healing. Let's use the lightning star. Maybe, let's see if we get spirit item. Okay, we did not get it. Lightning star. And kill that, uh, I think, frothing berserker because uh, it's more potentially higher damage. And I want to use uh, uh, the doomsayer in order to kill the board and reset the board and now I know I am risking it because he already have uh, an 8 damage and he can easily get uh, 5 more maybe a charge and uh, spill or something but this is the winning play uh, that's what I think next turn I don't know refreshment vendor and heal or uh, Barns and refreshment vendor. Okay. Attacking with the weapon. Okay, he have an Arcana Reaper. We have to heal. Like, yeah, it's really risky to not heal. And he's an aggro. We have a higher chance of winning. And we won. Oh my god. Okay, let's then play Barns since we are really in a good shape. Oh, we got, oh my god, that's really nice. Now he have to attack with the Arcana. Like, how to not attack this one, which is potentially really, what? Heroic strike phase? Okay, okay. Okay, he's gambling really hard. I will draw. I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will uh, just a car and taunt up. Now this taunt have to block 4 damage from him. 5 damage I mean. From the Arcanai. Or 4 damage from the Cochrane Elite. Okay. I hope we... Uh, like I want to get spell in order to use the effect of my legendary okay we got we can let's draw and see what we get also okay let's get a spill damage totem yeah yeah spill damage totem because uh, we can use it to remove uh, the overload and then refreshment vendor which is will heal me for uh, seven and he's out of card. 
And we win. This was really nice. I hope you like the deck. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And thank you guys.